Hey guys, this is Unipso Fan and I was here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts on the Phoenix race that happened today, and yeah, so anyways, let's get started. So, as we know that Truex got his first win of the season, and honestly, I'm happy to see Truex win. I mean, as you guys know, or for those who don't know, Truex is actually my second favorite driver behind Kyle Busch, who is my, mo um, who is my most favorite. And yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm happy to see Truex win. I mean, his last win was at Barnesville last summer. And I'm just happy to see him win. I mean, he hasn't won in a long time. So, I mean, it's just good to see that he's and he won. And yeah, I mean, honestly, this was a pretty good race. I mean, there was one part of the race where, which made me mad, which was about when Cobber spun out. I mean, honestly, that made me mad there. And, and yeah, I mean, as you guys know, I'm a big Cobber fan. And that just made me disappointed today. And yeah, I mean, I'm just hoping he can do good at Atlanta because I'm just hoping so. I mean, the price is that he get, they get six in, in um, and um and sixth place in stage one. But yeah, I mean, I I just hope he runs well next week. And yeah, I mean, I mean honestly, I mean I, he did run that Stanley car. I mean, I thought it was pretty good, but but yeah, I mean, I mean honestly, I just hope he does good next week. But yeah, I mean, I mean, Kazaski right here, he actually finished fourth, and at one point he was leading this race, and I was just hoping he would not win, because for those who don't know, Kazaski's my third most hated driver. And yeah, I mean, honestly, if he would have won, this would have been a rage review. And yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm glad that none of my least favorites have won yet. But yeah, I mean, I mean, Stenhouse, he was like up there in the top ten, I mean, I mean, honestly, I didn't like that at all either. I mean, I'm glad that he didn't get a top 10. And yeah, I mean, for those who uh, don't know, Stanhouse is my most hated driver because of what he's done in the past that I do not appreciate at all. And yeah, so I mean, uh, but yeah, I mean, and I mean, there was one part in stage one where Cody Ware looked like he turned Anthony Alfredo. I mean, I mean, that was not nice of Cody Ware to do. I mean, uh, I mean, honestly, I, I don't really like Rick Ware racing that much. But yeah, I mean, I I just thought that was kind of a dirty move there. But yeah, I mean, I do like Alfredo. I mean, I thought he was good back in Xfinity last year. But yeah, I mean, I just, I just felt bad for him. I mean, he was already having a rough race at the beginning. And yeah, and another thing about when Kyle, uh, Kyle Busch spun out. I mean, that was probably maybe Chastain's fault because it looks like Chastain turned him. And yeah, I mean, if you guys want to know my thoughts on it, uh, thoughts on it I mean, I thought that was... Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I mean, it looked like Chastain just turned him there. But yeah, I mean, honestly, Chastain now, he's probably just in my neutral section. I mean, if, if he does this again, then he's just going to be my least favorites. Or just be in my dislike section on my NASCAR tier list. I mean, I apologize that I have not made any videos on my NASCAR tier list in a, in a while. And it's just, just because I haven't felt like making them. But I could make one in the future. I mean, I mean, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I just wanted to just get my thoughts on today's race. I mean, honestly, it was pretty good. I mean, we'll see how the championship race will go uh, this and uh, this um, and this fall, and we'll see how that will go. But yeah, we'll just we'll find out what happens. I mean, the Atlanta race is next week, and then the Bristol Dirt race will come after. And yeah, and just so you guys know, another thing, I'm actually now on spring break. So I'll probably maybe post a few more videos. I mean, I'm actually going to go watch some trains on the Union Pacific Austin subdivision, which is the subdivision I live along. And yeah, I mean, if I catch like a bunch of trains, then I'll probably just make like a big video, like after I get done watching trains, which I'll be watching trains on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll just see. But I mean, if it's less trains like on each day, then I'll just see. I mean, I'm, I mean, if I catch lots, then I'm, I might make a big video on that, like a like what I did back in February where I, I caught those trains in Taylor back on February 1st I mean if that happens again then I, I might do it again but we'll just see how it will go and yeah I mean I've been I've been trying to get like something lately so that way I can like check like the traffic along this line but I mean it's not done yet but I mean I'll show you what that is soon I mean I mean I'm just waiting for it to be done but I mean if it doesn't get done soon then I might make a video about this but but yeah I mean I mean, just, I'll probably make more videos this and, and next week. I mean, I mean, I might find some diecasts, uh, like, at a Walmart and, where, and Taylor, which is where I'll be watching trains. So, I mean, if I find diecasts, then I'll probably make, a like, an unboxing video of it. 
so yeah so i hope you guys like enjoyed this video i'll do one next week for the atlanta race so yeah so anyways thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later